Hey guys, it's by Soap here. Welcome back to the channel. Now, today I want to talk about the potential release of iOS 16.4. Point one. Yes, a little over a week ago, Apple released iOS 16.4, which is a great software update. But as I always say, there's never a perfect update. Of course, this is software and Apple is looking to release a new update. And I'm going to show you and tell you why this new update could be coming sooner rather than later. So let's just dive right into this video. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, of course, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode and now the first thing i would like to talk about the reason why apple is going to potentially release ios 16.4.1 and now there's various reports from many users reporting that some of the widgets on the home screen of iphone are not displaying the proper data now of course this is something that could be caused by third-party apps not being fully compatible yet but other users report that apple apps themselves are just not showing the proper data when it comes to weather when it comes to fitness and even notifications for some of these applications are not being delivered. Now, personally, I did encounter some minor issues with notification delays, but not notifications not being delivered themselves. Now, earlier today, there was a widespread issue of the weather application not displaying the proper weather for your location at all. So this could be a server issue. So Apple has already addressed this issue and now has provided a server side update, which does not require you to update your iPhone. As you can see right now, my iPhone is now displaying the weather properly. But prior to this server side update, it was not displaying the weather properly, as you can see from this image and screenshot that I took earlier. And there's various reports on this. I'll link a few in the description down below. But one one of the major issues that most users are concerned about has to do with Wi-Fi. Many reports indicate that Wi-Fi issues continue to be an issue for some users on iOS 16.4. So therefore, 16.4.1, which could be a minor update, but yet very important, could address a lot of these issues for some users that have to enter their Wi-Fi passwords over and over on their iPhones. Even though they enter it once, it would ask them again to enter the password. I haven't encountered this issue on 16.4, but again, there's various reports that suggest that many users continue to have issues with Wi-Fi's on their iPhone on the latest 16.4. I would like to hear from you in those comments down below. Have you encountered any of these issues on your iPhone? And that about brings it into this video, so make sure to stay tuned here to the channel. iOS 16.4.1 could be released as early as this week, April the 4th and beyond, so in the next couple of days, we'll have to wait and see when Apple pushes this minor software update that's anticipated to fix some of these issues. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace!